Yeah, so today I'm going to talk about the Sonata's containerized vehicle simulation for integration testing. Um, I'm Jim Murphy, and I'm a software engineer here at Sonatus. Um, just a little bit of background on Sonatus. We're, we're a Silicon Valley-based uh, automotive software leader. Um, recently, there's been some press regarding some awards we've won. A lot of that has to do with our collaboration with uh, our in-production deployments uh, through with Hyundai. Uh, we've got a few vehicles where our uh, syst uh, solutions are currently running with plans to uh, extend throughout the product line. Uh, we've got a global presence and we're basically built on a set of uh, expertise throughout the, um, throughout the industry here with networking, cloud, uh, virtualization uh, expertise, uh, all targeted toward uh, you know, accelerating innovations in the in the software defined vehicle. Um, so this talk was basically inspired by one of the uh, original blog postings that was from uh, January twenty first, uh, twenty twenty, on the Sophie blog, which talked about this uh, vision where an uh, engineer would be able to work in the cloud environment um, and be able to essentially develop and test in the cloud environment. Uh, through simulation and validate uh, their their changes uh, to make sure that uh, things would work, you know, properly when when the system was actually deployed. And uh, we think there's a lot of value in that, so we went ahead and uh, did that ourselves. Um, as far as the agenda for this, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Sonatus uh, vehicle system architecture for central controller applications uh, and specifically some of the applications that we've been able to uh, simulate in the cloud environment and therefore get a better testing uh, situation. Um, we're gonna look at our conventional test hardware just to see how you know kind of bad the problem is when you try to test everything on the target hardware. And then also the cloud-based virtual test environment. Uh, and that's where we essentially have our solution. So uh, the Sonatus software for in-vehicle controller functions basically runs on an ECU. Um, in this case, uh, it's an ECU that includes both a microcontroller and an application processor. And on this central controller, we run uh, some applications like data collection and uh, SOA management, um, which are the two ones that I'm gonna mostly be focusing on, but also we have automation management and network management. We have uh, uh, network management for onboard ethernet switches, that helps uh, for network connectivity between ECUs on the on the vehicle, plus also connectivity to the cloud, and we have also security management to support, uh, you know, intrusion detection and those kinds of uh, security functions. Um, but as far as the data collection, it's mostly concerned with collecting data through the SOA interfaces and through the associated CAN buses um, for the purposes of. Uh, uh, cloud analysis. So for what we had for our um, pre-cloud hardware-based integration test environment is essentially we show here uh, in the gray, the, the pieces of hardware that are actually associated with the vehicle, which include the uh, S32G uh, processor uh, that I talked about, and then also the uh, onboard vehicle switch. Uh, and then the stuff in the green is additional hardware that's required to essentially, um, you know, simulate the rest of the car hardware to make to make everything work properly. And so there's a lot of wires involved and a lot of lab space required to to get all this stuff to work. Um, the test environment Ethernet switch is used to basically simulate the connectivity to all the other ECUs on the in vehicle Ethernet switch. And then we take uh, the data from that and tunnel it via VLANs to uh, test computer two in this drawing, which does ECU emulation through uh, Linux namespaces. Uh, it has CAN bus interfaces, which again, involves a lot of wiring uh, connected to uh, the S32G. And we also have, uh, this is where we run our test driver, which is an automated set of tests uh, that get run against this this hardware environment. Um, we have a second test computer, which essentially provides us the serial ports that connect to the uh, S32G, 
for the purposes of controlling, getting console access, downloading images, flashing boards, and that sort of thing. And we also have a power cycler to, um, you know, to, to reboot and power cycle the various systems in the lab. Um, finally, all this stuff is connected up through the corporate LAN and then to a build server uh, where things are, uh, you know, controlled, test con tests are controlled and um, ultimately executed, images are created and downloaded and, and that sort of thing. Um, so as you can see, this is a, a fairly complex setup. Uh, it's expensive, uh, takes up a lot of lab space. There's always different things breaking uh, that require human intervention. Um, since they're expensive, there's a lot of resource contention and we typically will have difficulty uh, getting engineers uh, time on these uh, test setups. And then you have a very long dev test cycle because you have to build the images and flash the boards and things like that, which takes a lot of time. And really for something like a data collection service or um, some of the other applications that we have, uh, if you're able to simulate just a few things, um, having this whole, whole environment is really overkill for, for testing those applications. So what we, our goals for creating this cloud native test environment uh, was to have a development and test, test environment that eliminated this reliance on this uh, test resource. Um, we wanted a better debugging environment. It's pretty difficult to, embug, uh, to debug sometimes on embedded systems. Uh, when you can debug on, on the system where you built the stuff, you have uh, better access to debugging tools and it's just easier to, to debug in that environment. Um, and we wanted to reduce the fine fixed cycle time, which was which is also a big issue. Uh, as far as the system integration tests, we developed a lot of these tests. It's a, it's a huge asset for us. Um, and so we want to reuse those tests to the largest extent possible. And um, uh, what we had currently been testing on our um, on our build systems was basically just through unit testing. Uh, and those can only give you so much coverage. So when you can actually on your build system test with the same level of you know, system interaction uh, on, on your build servers through your existing system integration test, that gives you a lot of value. The second thing is we wanted to avoid any resource contention on the build servers. So everything needed to work in isolation that included the test instances and the cloud instances. Uh, so engineers could could work without having to worry about you know stepping on others' toes or or requiring any any access to special resources. Um, and then finally, we wanted all the interfaces to be the same as they were on a real vehicle. So we didn't want to have any special code in any of our demons running just because they're running uh, on this test environment. And that includes both within within the vehicle and also between the vehicle and the cloud. So ultimately our uh, test environment ended up looking something like this, where we have this ECU uh, simulation inside of a container. And then we show here some of our uh, major uh, processes associated with data collection. Um, and those would include the SO adapter, which bas basically adapts uh, this virtual CAN bus to, um, to, to the SOA interfaces. And then we have other SOA em emulators that essentially uh, also adapt to uh, from the system integration tests into the SOA interfaces that the da data collection process requires. Uh, we have a dynamic policy manager. So all of our systems work on policies and as opposed to you know, up upgrading firmware or something like that. So we, we get different behavior from the system through different policies. And all our applications uh, can use the same dynamic policy manager to affect their behavior. And then we use MQTT uh, to talk uh, to the cloud services. And so that, that also will run in this uh, simulation container. And with this, then we have enough uh, of the pieces necessary to actually test um, our data collection functions on, in the simulated environment. Uh, we also have the cloud containers. So the cloud is packed package for testing as a set of um, a set of microservices that each are separate containers. And so we have those and um, and, and we communicate with those uh, from the simulation container. And then we have our integration tests, which run on the build server 
and they're able to essentially manipulate both uh, the cloud, um, cloud, cloud simulation through existing set of APIs, and then also an adaptation layer uh, was written so that we could run the same set of integration tests against this, uh, this cloud instance as what were being run against our, um, our actual vehicle test environment. So as far as uh, the Linux container networking, um, we, we essentially use Docker and Docker Compose. So Docker is used to create containers in which we um, build and execute the containerized ECU components. And um, we also have our test instances, instances that run on the actual build server itself. Uh, and those are, those are isolated just by virtue of being associated with a particular build container and with a, an associated with a particular uh, cloud instance. Our cloud instances are, are managed through Docker Compose, and we have a set of uh, microservices associated with each cloud instance. Then each cloud instance gets its own uh, subnet. And so basically what happens is the con can, uh, containerized ECU is configured uh, to know which specific cloud instance it should talk to through that cloud instance's IP address. And then uh, the test framework is configured to uh, communicate with a particular ECU uh, based on uh, uh, configuration associated with the ECU's address. And from there, we're essentially able to uh, run these test instances against the proper uh, containerized ECU and the proper cloud instance and thereby execute the tests we're interested in. So what kind of uh, benefits did we get? How do we do with respect to the benefits of what we were trying to accomplish? And so if we look at the uh, task time uh, comparison for, a, let's say, a one-line change uh, from, you know, essentially a clean tree to actually something running on a, on a test uh, piece of test hardware. Um, so to allocate a test bed um, in the hardware test environment, basically, uh, we didn't know how long it would take because sometimes there just aren't any, whereas in the cloud uh, native test environment, uh, essentially there was, there was no issue there. Um, as far as uh, build, it takes about 30 minutes to build a complete image uh, for the hardware test environment uh, versus about 10 minutes to build all the software that we need to run our applications. And this is actually more than just data collection, but I just show the time to build everything uh, which is essentially our application uh, code, uh, which is about 10 minutes. And then to flash or install the software takes about 36 minutes on the actual hardware test environment. That's a very long process uh, versus in the cloud native test environment, it takes about 10 seconds because the only thing you really need to do is just execute the image, the, the components that you just built. Um, and so therefore it takes the apply fix cycle uh, from anywhere from five to 66 minutes for the hardware test environment down to about a minute for the cloud native test environment. Because the only thing you need to do there is just recompile your one line fix, which is typically just rebuild, relink one application, or, uh, and then just restart your services, which is really just restarting a, a set of processes in your container. Uh, and that, that's about it. So that, that, that was a big uh, benefit from a developer um, uh, productivity perspective that we were able to realize. And then so essentially from uh, leveraging the SOFI vision for cloud native development, we've been able to increase developer productivity, improve our software quality, increase our test coverage, um, re reduce resource contention and demonstrate platform independence. Uh, our next steps then, are going to be to support additional features. So we wanna add more to this test environment, including our vehicle automation manager, diagnostics, uh, support for various um, data collection that we do off of ethernet or some IP. Um, and then hopefully migrate to the SOFI reference platform. And this will become particularly important as we start getting into uh, mixed criticality workloads and further containerization. So that was all that I had. Um, I, I guess I'll take the questions uh, offline.
Yep, thanks, Jim. Really appreciate that. I, I, I love that last uh, slide where it shows you the, the benefits and the results. I mean, we, we kind of talk about how cloud development is going to speed things up. It's actually nice to, to really see that with the, with the analysis you, you did. So thank you for that.